sights and sounds when paddling in a channel with other waterway users can be exhilarating. At first look, these busy waterways can seem overwhelming. But knowledge is power when paddling with other boaters. All boat operators from a large ocean-faring vessel to a sailboat to you, a human-powered crab, should follow the same rules of the road. We treat paddling in a channel just like driving on the road. Similar to driving, it is better to be a defensive paddler when surrounded by larger craft. You'll see a few different kinds of markers when paddling in a channel. There's red and green markers and occasionally buoys. The markers signal to the larger boats where they must travel because it's the deepest part of the channel. The buoys will often dictate a no wake zone. When paddling in a channel, stay on the right side, just like driving in the right lane. You can easily avoid larger boat traffic by staying close to the shore side of the buoys or staying outside of them completely. Keep in mind, the larger boat traffic can bring unpredictable water with their wakes. Paddle into waves or wakes with the bow of your boat. Taking waves or wakes onto the side of your craft can easily cause it to capsize. When crossing a channel, make sure you look both ways, just like when crossing the street. Sail and power-driven boats can quickly gain on you. When you're ready to cross, paddle the most direct path so that you spend the least amount of time in the busiest part of the channel. Cross the channel side by side, allowing larger boats to pass either in front of or behind your group. Finally, treat passing other boats like passing cars on the highway. If you're passing someone that is traveling the same direction as you, you can pass on either side. If they're traveling the opposite direction of you, stay on the right side of the channel. Most importantly, always keep a safe distance from other vessels, especially if they're larger than you and have a motor or sail. Remember, boats and ships don't come with brakes. Another important part of paddling in a channel with larger boats is to stay visible. Wearing a life jacket with bright colors and using reflective tape on your vessel or paddle helps to add visibility. The rules require you to carry a sound producing device, such as a whistle. If you intend to boat at night, you need to have a light, high intensity LED is recommended to warn other boaters of your existence. If you're paddling with others, travel close together while also being mindful of leaving room for larger boats. Not only will staying closer together help in a rescue situation, but it'll also help to be noticed. Always assume other boaters cannot see you and be proactive in avoiding them. Signaling devices are an important part of paddling in a channel. Staying aware of approaching boats and making your presence known early and often is a mark of an attentive paddler. Making contact with larger boats can sometimes be as simple as a wave to let them know you're both sharing the water. But if you see a large boat that doesn't seem aware that you're paddling in its path, use your whistle or air horn to make sure you have their attention. Everything that we just mentioned will help you and your boating friends have a fun and safe day on the water. It's as simple as following the rules of the road, staying visible, making your presence known, and being a defensive paddler. Being a defensive paddler can save your life. Paddling in a channel with larger boat traffic brings obstacles, but it's easy to navigate when knowing and obeying the rules of the road. Use your common sense when boating. Enjoy the sights and sounds of being on the water and have fun.